welcome to excel classes in the previous video we studied on some of the tools which we can use to format our fonts in this particular video we'll be discussing about the various number formatting options that are available in the excel basically today we will be dealing with this number section which is there in your home tab so for the purpose of teaching this particular video I have entered some of the data in my Excel worksheet. So this data is pertaining to your student details and it has certain rows. The first one is examination fee paid, number of students appeared for the exam, pass percentage, date of the data record means when this particular three inform data I will record in this B column. So on which date have I recorded that particular data that will be shown here then the time of record so what is the time of record that also will be shown in this particular data so i will just teach you how to do various number formatting how to use the various number formatting options that are available in the excel for you so for that first let me enter some data in this particular sheet examination fee paid let me think that a student has paid 1200 rupees as examination fee so now i want to insert a rupee symbol here let me assume that the exam is being conducted in india and the indian uh, symbol is rupee and i want to add that particular symbol now how to add that select the cell the amount cell that is 1200 go to general in the general by default it has been put as general you have a drop down list here when you select on that you have something called as currency or accounting so i can choose accounting also or i can even choose it as currency also so when you observe here as soon as i selected the option currency my data it even got rupee symbol as well as two decimal points which is known as paisa now you will ask me how this decimals matter to me okay i will explain you that before that now i don't want decimal i want only the rupees value i don't want paisa value to remove the decimals i cannot simply click and remove here that is not possible i have to use an option called as increase decimal and decrease decimal in number section two options are available for you one is increase decimal second one is decrease decimal when i click it once one decimal will vanish when i clicked for twice both the decimals have been removed similarly if i have to increase decimals same old same uh, option i have to use that is increase decimals but now i don't want to use any kind of decimals so now i want to teach you some more things related to currency Suppose, let me take my amount is 1230, 1200.456. So now what happens? Let me convert the same amount into currency. So 1200.456 is the amount data I have put. Now I will convert the same amount into currency. So when I click on currency, what you can observe is my data is automatically getting converted into decimals okay it is getting converted into currency rupee symbol has been added and you have a decimal but if you observe here i had input the data that is 1200.456 since i asked the excel to give me only two decimals it has round off my value to only two decimals so excel will do the auto rounding off of your currency so your currency gets auto rounded off that is one of the advantage you have in this excel now for example i want only one decimal now so same value i will put it here okay same value now i will convert it into decimal now i got two decimal but i want only one decimal so i will decrease a decimal so when i decrease a decimal again you see that my data will automatically get rounded off that is the power of this currency formatting option that is there in the excel so this is about the currency 
Now let us go more to our next formatting option. So here they say that number of students appeared for the exam. Let me think that 1 lakh students have appeared in the exam. So I have entered the data that 1 lakh students have entered appeared in the exam. So if I if you see here there is no commas. So suddenly when you see that it is very difficult for you to analyze that it is 1 lakh rupees. So because the thousands are not differentiated by comma and you don't have uh, what do you say you don't have when you see that exactly you cannot guess that it is 1 lakh because commas are not mentioned. Now how to add that. So in order to add that there are two options you can use. One is select a drop down list and go sorry select a drop down list and select accounting uh, accounting format option but the disadvantage of this accounting format option is even the rupee symbol also comes there but I don't want rupee symbol I want only commas to be used so which option can I use I can use two options in that first one I show that is accounting and that doesn't work here so one more option what you can use is the comma style you have an option called as comma style click on that comma style automatically your data will be your data will get the commas inserted so you can see here after thousand one comma is there after lakh one comma is there now when you see this particular data you can easily identify that it is one lakh now again decimals is there but i don't want decimals so i'm removing the decimals now pass percentage suppose what is pass percentage uh, let me think that i'll give 80 but i want to insert a percentage symbol now how to insert a percentage symbol again there are two different options the first one is very simple option you have a percentage symbol here and when you click on this percentage symbol what you observe here it it became 8000 percentage but what is the data i gave i gave 80 percentage but as soon as i inserted it it became 80 percentage why it happened because Excel automatically converts your data into 100 because percentage means you convert the data into 100 so here also Excel is doing that so for this you need to know some basic maths what is that basic maths 25% is equal to 0 0.25 okay 50% is equal to 0.5 and 100% is equal to 1 so now this is a data this is a conversion data so you know this Hena, you know this so now when i click on this percentage symbol for 0 0.25 it will get converted into percentage 0 0.5 will get converted into 50 percentage and 1 will get converted into 100 percentage so this is a basic maths rule you have to know now here instead of giving 80 percentage i will give it as 0 0.80 so you see here automatically it will get converted into percentage symbol now this is one way of doing it so second thing is again you have a drop down here you have this percentage symbol here again the decimals have come if i don't want decimals i can remove the decimals clear now date of data record now there's a shortcut key in the excel suppose i want to insert today's date there is a shortcut key so what is that shortcut key means control plus semicolon control plus semicolon is a shortcut key so when i select the cell and press control plus semicolon key automatically today's date gets selected today's date is 5th september 2024 that is the date i am recording this particular video so it automatically gets selected now again in date you have two options long date and short date this is short date here everything is represented using numbers if i want long date means the month some suddenly i'll get confused which month it is so i want a month should be in words means i can go to this drop down and select long date so go select the cell first then go to the drop down and select long date so as soon as i click on the long date option my month gets converted into wordings 
so it is 5th september 2024 now similarly for time also you have one more shortcut key that is control plus shift plus semicolon so this is the shortcut key for inserting the present time so whatever the time exact time so what i need to do select the cell in which i need to insert the time use my keys control plus shift plus semicolon automatically my time appears on the screen now it is okay one second I, why it happened like this because i didn't select the function go to drop down and select as time see automatically it will come so it is 21 hours 50 minutes that means 9 50 is the time now if you observe here it is 24 hour format suppose i don't want to enter the present time i want to enter the time of yesterday okay or today only i did it in the morning let me assume that or else evening we can take that is at seven o'clock in the evening i enter this particular data so i can type here as 7 pm as 7 pm if i don't know how to convert it into 24 hours if I click on 7 p.m., Excel automatically converts it into 24-hour format. So this is one of the advantage. Excel automatically converts it. Again here, if you don't want seconds thing, you cannot remove it. It is by default. So time time format will come in. It come in HH, MM, SS means hours, minute and second format. This is a time format. So this was for today. That is number formatting. Hope you got valuable insights from the video. If you have any doubt, you can put your doubts in the comment box. We'll be responding to your doubts as soon as possible. If this video for real was really useful for you, please let us know your valuable feedback in the comment box so that we can improve on ourselves. So thank you for watching the video. In my further videos, I'll come back with some more various options, tools, that are available in the Excel.